There's been some great tech innovations in the world of urban cycling of late. And some of our favorite brands, many of which we actually featured on the GCN show back when they were just Kickstarters, were up for making a video to showcase their work. So here you go, seven urban innovations. First up, we've got the Light Lock, which was actually one of those Kickstarters that we mentioned on the GCN show. And here it is in real life. Always cool to see that happen. Now, as the name suggests, it is actually a Light Lock, just over a kilo for this one. Now, it's made from a patented material called Boa Flexicor, which is a composite of metal and polymer. And as well as being light, as you can see, it is also flexy, but apparently it's mega tough. They reckon that this could actually lift up a truck, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's not the only thing, of course, uh, that stops your bike from getting nicked, but it's been given a gold award by Sold Secure, who kind of test for these sort of things. Next up, we've got this little gizmo, which is called the Beeline, and it's like a really clean, simple navigation system. It's got a phone app that you use to input your destination on. And then when you've selected it, it's got two different modes. Firstly, it's got route assistant, which is where it will operate in a more conventional style navigation aid way. So it'll give you turn by turn instructions along a predetermined route. But then it's also got free flow, which is where it will lock onto your destination and then always point in that direction, but leaving the route choice up to you. So you can effectively freestyle your way as you cruise through a city. You will notice, I'm sure, the return of the Senna helmet. Now Senna actually started out making communications equipment, but because their CEO is a super keen motorbiker, they then started making products for that market, and then they realized that actually their technology would suit some cyclists as well. And so, here you go. Now this one is called the X1 Pro, and it's got a built-in camera, I don't know if you can see that on the front there, that will shoot two hours at quad HD quality. And then you can use the companion app on your phone to sync that up so you can safely make and receive calls, or indeed listen to music. Now I'm not one for riding with headphones in, so this would be like the alternative to riding with a boombox strapped to your handlebars, which I do actually admire secretly when people ride around with boomboxes on their handlebars, but likewise, that isn't for me either. Now, well, do we, Matt? That, that is a question. Now, you recognise my bike as well, I'm sure. It was the one I was lucky enough to tear around the streets of Berlin on earlier in the summer. It's made by Schindelhauer, and I think it's a thing of beauty, but there is certainly no denying the level of tech on here either. I'm going to start with the Gates Carbon Drive. I've long been an admirer of belt drives. Unlike conventional chains, there's effectively zero maintenance. So no cleaning required, no lubrication required, and no chance of it rusting. Could there be a more perfect bit of urban tech? Now, the reason you don't need to do any of those things is because it's not made of metal. It's made from polyurethane with non-stretch carbon cords inside. And it needs its very own style of sprocket in order for it to work. And you obviously can't call that a chain ring either because it's not a chain. I guess it's just a ring. Now, Gates carbon drives can't actually be used with conventional derailers, so you can either run them fixed or single speed or use an alternative kind of gear system like we've got here, this gearbox system from Pinion. Now, just like the Gates carbon drive, it's almost entirely maintenance free. All the gearing is completely sealed in there in an oil bath. The only maintenance you need to do is to change the oil once every 10,000 kilometers or annually, whichever comes first. And almost unbelievably, it comes with a five-year guarantee. It works using spur gears with two different units giving the combination of gears. Only two gear pairs are in contact at any one time transmitting rider power. So Pinion say that it works out 
has been remarkably efficient. And unlike a conventional double chainring setup, there's also no gear overlaps. Each one is evenly spaced sequentially. So typically logical German engineering there then. You can get a gear spread that's bigger than a conventional derailleur system, and they come from between nine and 18 gears. This one has 12. Now, both the Gates carbon drive and the pinion gearbox do require a frame that's specifically designed for the purpose. So the Gates carbon drive needs chain stays that can be split apart because the belt itself is a continuous loop. And then pinion obviously need this dedicated mount here on the down tube. So neither can be considered an upgrade necessarily, but both are something that you could consider when you're looking for your ultimate commuter bike. Quick change of bike now, uh, for my own town bike actually, which was cobbled together out of a few random bits. Now the reason we've done the bike change is because we needed one with standard quick releasing in order to be able to demonstrate our next product, the Nutfix from Abbas. Now this is designed to get around the problem of having someone nicking parts from your bike when it's otherwise locked securely. And I don't know about you, but I actually hate walking around a city and seeing bikes stranded like carcasses picked clean by vultures. Wheels are the most common one to go. You can of course get around that by dropping your front wheel out and then locking it to the rear wheel and the rest of the frame. But it's kind of a pain in the bum and it's particularly bad if you do multiple quick stops. So the nut fix gets around that problem. You replace your standard quick releases with it now it works by having a cover over the nut. Now this cover is locked in place when the bike is in a vertical position, i.e. locked to an immovable object. And then in order to remove the cover, and expose the nut itself, the bike has to be horizontal. So you simply lie on its side, pull the nut off, and then you're able to remove your wheels. But otherwise, they're secure. Genius. Cycling have been causing quite a stir, not just in the urban cycling world, but in any kind of cycling really. And we have got our hands on their brand new just released models. So we've got the Fly 12 CE up front and the Fly 6 CE at the back. They're twin function. So they have smart cameras in there, which are designed to be the ultimate dash cam for cyclists. And they're in combination with lights, 100 lumens at the back and 600 lumens at the front both of which would more than justify being on your bike for that reason alone. Now, I think it's the cameras that are the really clever bit though. So should you wish to record your rides in case anything happens, either in a good way, like, I don't know, a golden eagle flying serenely past you, or in a bad way, i.e. you get knocked off your bike by a vehicle, then these are designed specifically for that. So as soon as you switch either unit on, it will begin recording automatically and it will continue recording automatically until you switch it off again. There is enough space inside on the SD cards to save up to two hours of footage. And if you go over that, it will begin to loop on top, so record over the top of it. However, should you wish to save anything for posterity, you simply press the Q button up front or you transfer the contents of the SD card when you get home. However, the really clever bit is that both cameras have motion sensors inside. And if they detect that your bike is leant over for more than five seconds, like you've been knocked off it, then they will immediately save the preceding video segment, so five, 10 or 15 minutes, and then it will continue recording for the next 30 minutes before switching itself off and locking all that footage away. The CE part of the name of these new ones stands for Connected Edition. So they've got built-in AMP Plus and Bluetooth, meaning you can control the lights using your Garmin, and of course, connect the whole thing up to your phone. Now there is a whole load of other tech in there that I could talk about, like built-in theft alarms, but I will leave it there. In fact, I'll leave it up to you now to let us know in the comments section what you think the best urban cycling innovation is in recent years. Do also make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe. And then if you wanna watch any more videos about urban cycling, we've got the very cool Berlin Super Commuter Challenge just down there. Or to find out how to ride in the city, get some good quality tips on it, click just down there.